Lesson 87, how do you SD weekly analysis? As much as we are doing the weekly analysis, you are doing the audio SD case study. So you have, you have never understood by the way, what does your audio SD do? Or you have blown your account using audio SD, or you are buying last week and you made money, or you are buying, you are selling in the market board, got confused. Maybe this is the reason why I'm doing this video. We want to do a case study of audio SD and understand, first of all, where are we? Because let, let me tell you one thing. I think people are uh, like uh, double dealing, like you want to be doing two things at the same time. In the market, we have two players and we have a buyer and we have a seller. So what this means is that for me to buy, I need conditions for me to see this market is buying. And another thing, if I will sell, I need conditions that this market will sell. Both buying and selling starts from higher time frame. So the opinion, the opinion time frame, for me, I call it opinion. Why? Because it's the one that um, it's the time frame that gives us at least something to hold on. So my opinion time frame, it's always monthly. So this is my opinion time frame. So when I when I'm analyzing a uh, analysis, I want first before even I understand, is it a buy? Is it a sell? First of all, I need my opinion month to give me a hands up. So many of the times, hands up cannot just come from the market structure. Oh, the market is a strong uptrend. This does not give you the opinion monthly. Opinion monthly cannot be given this market buy now. Why? What if the time the market is this and you have understood, oh, it's an uptrend. What if it's the time that the market was to reverse? So this is not a good way to buy in a trade because it's an uptrend. For me, that's why I don't use market structure for entry. I will use market structure for a case study to build a story, but I will not use it as an entry. Again, if on the monthly time frame I get a very red candle, like a bearish momentum candle, there is no way I will my buyers will be automatically sell. Why? I understand that this yes red candle can be this big and huge and what but it has already um it has already gone to a support area so as much as it's a red we can see a rejection of that support and the market can buy so again i don't use candlesticks only to give me direction of the market so the only thing that i have tested for many many trades guys and if i say many I have tested many trades. For me, I don't get my opinion. My opinion does not come from a market going up or market giving me a bullish engulf or bearish engulf. My opinion always comes from two patterns. Either do I have a double top or do I have a double bottom? And you see, in my class, in my mentorship class, I teach six patterns. But when what I always tell people, for you to understand the other four, the goal and the basics is to understand both double tops. It's you to understand a double top, how it works. And you understand what a double bottom, how it works. Once now you understand how it works, the rest of the patterns, why? Because the double tops and the double bottoms, they will buy the ranging channel, which I teach in my mentorship program. They will also re, uh, they will also produce a cup and handle. And in ranging, there are two types of ranging. We have a ranging a break at support and a ranging break at resistance. We also have cup and handle and an inverted cup and handle. So the two patterns, they feed on the double tops and the double bottoms. So what I tell my student and what I'm trying to tell you here is that, yes, you have you want to trade all the patterns in the world, but from a double top, that's when you can get a ranging market. From the double top, that's where you can get a cup and handle. So instead of focusing on cup and handle, why don't you focus understanding and mastering double tops? So for me, my opinion, my opinion now comes, is derived from in that monthly, do we have a double top? In that monthly, do we have a double bottom? So if I have a double top, what do I do? I will sell. You see, if I have a double bottom, what do I do? I will buy. So you need to understand double tops we buy, double bottoms we do what? We sell. So from the monthly time frame, 
when I start now analyzing my market and I open my monthly chart and I spot a double top or a double bottom, if I spot a double top, this is what I do and it has really helped me guys by the way. What I do, if I spot a double top, so let's say we have said monthly is your opinion month, meaning it, 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 and it's giving you one opinion on, there's no way opinion can be buy and sell. Opinion. So it either it gives you a buy. So when the market, when the monthly opinion is getting a buy, what do you think that pattern is? The pattern is automatically a double bottom, a double bottom. So there's no way you can be given a double bottom and still you're looking for a sell, double bottom. The other hand, if the monthly opinion is giving you a sell now, it's telling you sell, what do you think the pattern is? The pattern is no longer a double bottom, but the pattern is a double top. So it's that easy, guys. So you need to just to identify which pattern do I have? Which pattern do I have on the monthly? Because my basis starts from the monthly time frame. Now, once you understand this, whenever you have a double top, a double bottom, so this is a double top, Whenever you have a double bottom, remember your opinion on the man is the buy. So you cannot find yourself on a higher time frame trying to buy because the monthly opinion has not given you a go ahead. So the only option with other time frame, you're left by selling, you're left by going to daily to look for sale. Because buy, you cannot look until monthly candle closes. I hope I'm making sense. If monthly opinion, there is a double top, selling for you that month ends. Because for you to sell, you need this double top to confirm. So the idea of selling that month ends, but you can still look for buy opportunity. And I'll give you an example for you to understand what I mean. So, this is audio SD on the monthly. So let me remove everything. So if I come on the monthly, remember my opinion month is, my opinion time frame has always been monthly. If I come on the monthly, I can spot a double bottom. Can you see? A double bottom, very clear. I can spot a double bottom. I can spot a neckline. And then I can spot our half. So this market is headed to half, guys. The market is headed to where? To our half. And half is not many pips. In fact, it's like, how many pips? 105 pips. So if I spot, now I want to show you with an example because I know many people are still floating on what I'm trying to do. There is a double bottom and a possible double bottom on the monthly op as the time frame opinion which is monthly. So there's this double bottom, possible double bottom, meaning we are looking to buy at the end of the month. So what you are being told is that if monthly opinion, if monthly time frame that get, gives you opinion, we are waiting on a buy. We are waiting on a buy because it's a double bottom. What do you think you will be doing on the weekly? Would you buy? What you, do you think we'll be doing on the daily? Would you buy? What do you think you'll do on four hour? Would you, would you buy? That's my question. Would you buy? So when the monthly gives you a pattern and it has not confirmed, the monthly already it's a buy. We are waiting on a buy. But let me tell you, if you find yourself buying on this time frame, already you have chosen to fail. Why? Because here you're being told wait. You are waiting for this buy to confirm like this so that any other time frame you can look for, buy. But when the monthly is telling you, my daughter, my son, wait for this market to confirm the buy. Why are you going on weekly right now? You go on weekly and say, I'm waiting for the market to break this resistance and I place a buy trade. You have already violated the monthly monthly uh, confirmation or waiting confirmation. When you go to the daily and you speak of, oh, 
on the daily. I can't really find there's a bullish momentum. Let me just buy because the market wants to buy. Let me tell you, if monthly we are all waiting for the buy to give us an entry, we do not enter buy in any other low time frame. So the only time frame, the only way we can enter on lower time frame if we are selling. Why? Selling has not be capped by monthly. So if I go to weekly, I can look for sale. If I go to daily, I can look for sale. If I go to four, I can look for sale. Why? What if this candle does not give me, what if at the end of the month, I find this candle, very small candle, is a week. It means what I was waiting for market to buy, it has not bought. So you cannot wait doing nothing. So many people, yes, they are waiting for buy, but they are doing nothing. So as they are waiting for this confirmation, they are, hold, they are folding their hands, they are holding, they, they are just not doing anything and they are not, but they are not, of course you can't buy because you have to wait, but they're not looking for sale of opportunity. So today I want you to understand when you have monthly time frame, it's your opinion month. It gives you direction of what to do. So Audi USD has already told us you cannot buy until November ends. Already it has told us, but it has not said we cannot sell using lower time frame like weekly, daily, four hour. So already the warning we have been given on Audi USD on monthly, the month of November, do not buy Audi USD until I give you an entry. And that's exactly what you are doing. So according to me, I'm no longer looking for buy because buy will come from this confirmation. If this candle closes like this, you will hear me say, we have been given a buy confirmation. Don't find yourself selling. Don't find yourself selling. Why? Because you can sell and the market will always obey monthly because it's our opinion month. So in the month of November, don't be found doing what? And because you are remaining with 10 days, these 10 days don't be caught up by. Even if the market buys and breaks here, you'll have followed the rule. And the rule is if the market breaks those 200, the market has a journey of 480. That one we will soon trade very easily, very easily. So now that is said and done, it means our buy idea ends until we come December 1st. That's when we will speak of buying according to how monthly time frame we will have told us. But now we are left by option of selling. So you see out USD and out and Euro USD, they are easy because you're not looking for buys. You're only looking for sell until the market closes on the monthly. So if I'm looking for sell opportunity, if I'm looking for sell opportunity, what comes in my mind if I'm looking for sell opportunity? What comes in my mind is that there's a resistance here. The market can break that resistance. And for me, I understand a break can either be a fake out or continuation. Fake out or, or continuation. You see? So that is my first thing that I'll be watching. And there's no other pattern. I do not... You see here, I'm not even looking for double bottoms because I don't want to buy. I'll be looking for more double tops because the only thing that is left for me to do in these 10 days is look for sale. I cannot buy as I'm waiting for buy opportunity using monthly time frame. So if I flip my daily chart, I get something interesting. I get a place where I can have a possible double top. And you see this possible double top, the only thing I'm waiting is for activation. And um, I can use all my energy for this. Why? Because unless the monthly candle closes that way, if the mon monthly candle closes having activated this, for instance, we have an activation and it is here, I will now relate it differently. Why? Because long term is a buy, but short term is a sell. But right now, we don't even have a buy in the picture. Because that one has to happen after 10 days. So now our attention comes to this double top. So we need to, to check a very well 
if it is on the day on the weekly the double top is not on the weekly meaning this if there's a trade i need you to follow is this audi usd you can make money with it and it is quick money and easy money the swing money so i'm i'm now marking pointing out zones so this one is my neckline i have told you stop ideas of buying we only buy after december 1st when we are assured that that double bottom has confirmed. Now that we can stock of buying. Right now, if someone tells you to buy out USD, leave them alone. They just, they don't know what is happening. Even if this market buys and buys and buys, don't worry. The buy was to be communicated by monthly and it has not. So we are waiting for confirmation. This is a possible double top, meaning this possible double top is very, very, um. That possible double top is very clear. There's nowhere uh, you can say, oh, I didn't see it. It's very, very clear. So we have our half there. We have our half there. You can see we still have RBS. The buyers are not, um, like it's a struggling market because you can see there's a ranging. There's so much ranging on that area. And we have RBS around that area. So, and this now is our neckline. So the what I want you to do is to add out USD on your OPT daily. Why? Because we just need the market first to activate. So they need to come and activate. They are remaining how many pips? 20. Once they activate, now we can use WBB. So this is out USD. I don't want us to forget. This is out USD daily OPT. And we have a very good case study. And for me, once I start case study, I have to finish and to see until end. That's why I'm calling it case study. And I don't want to case study a lot of pairs. I want to only to do three. And these three are our major pairs. So if I do the three case study, we'll be able to know the rest of the pairs where they, where they are going. So I don't want to analyze a lot. I just want to analyze only three major pairs have the case study and then we can now discuss so i think this is the last case study i'm doing so from tomorrow when we are doing from lesson 88 we are doing more back testing and seeing where we always go wrong we we'll do different time frames and so forth and so forth so the only thing now we need to understand is that when you have such a when you have such a double a, dub, a possible double top don't insist of trying to buy this market. Like I've said, us buying, we need a confirmation from where? We need a confirmation from monthly. So don't insist. And you can see that double top can be very strong. Why? It's no longer, it's not on the monthly and it's not on the weekly. So they can use that double top. They can use it. Guys, they can use that double top. So what I can urge you is that by the time, by the time you are, you are looking at this trade, you don't have a buy mind. For the next 10 days, how do you don't have a buy mind? Because that's our downfall. And again, don't flip to, to lower time frame. So I want you to go where you have uh, made your watch list. This watch list, we are calling it daily OPT. So as you're watching this video, maybe you have not watched the other videos that I have analyzed. I have done a video on EuroUSD you can see I'm still waiting for the OPT. Like this double top is only on the daily. So we are waiting for that candle to close. And I still feel the market can break and activate the second. So I am not predicting, I'm just reacting on what the market will do. I've already done GBPUSD. I've done GBPUSD and GBPUSD already has activated our pattern. So we can see a pattern has already been activated. What is lacking on GBPUSD is WBB. So we don't have a red candle. So we get the red candle, it engulfs, and once it does, it's coming down. If you notice what these major pairs have in common, they have RBS. These double tops have RBS, meaning that the market, uh, if it agrees to sell, USD, maybe it is just waiting on I don't know what. So Audi is a bit behind because it needs to activate. So if you find yourself you're going to lower time frame like four hour, 
you'll be confused. Why? Because you're seeing buyers having more strength. I remember on four hour last Monday, I gave you this double bottom and I told you this double bottom is not on there daily so let's pay attention and we got an entry so here the market broke the market broke and it did a ranging retracement so once the market broke it went to our half and you see and our half got broken so let me show you what we got our half got broken by this candle. So our USD, we had a chance to re-enter again. And you can see once we re-entered our half. So market does not, it's not always it is the same. We got another 80 pips. So we got a chance to re-enter our USD. That's what I'm saying. At this point, I don't want you to check on lower time frame. I don't want to check you, you check on lower time frame. I want you to stick kindly kindly stick on the daily kindly stick on the daily so that if the double top activates now you shift from activation to wvp thank you so much guys for watching i hope you like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below let me know your thoughts on the three major pairs and from tomorrow from the next lessons we are doing more back testing because uh tuesday we do back testing and tuesday by day it's live trading so i hope i'll get live tradings and we'll enter together yeah so thank you so much for watching all the best bye bye